Hello, students, and welcome back to Sonoran Daily, everyone's favorite semi official seller. I'm your host, Josh Doyle. And I'm Alessandra Santos. Today's birthdays are Aubrey P, 8th grade, Rakea A, 6th grade, uh, Tomorrow's is Geo A, 7th grade, Jasmine L, 7th grade, uh, Aislinn P, 7th grade, Leah, 7th uh, grade as well. Um, Today's lunch is popcorn chicken snowball with roll, chicken Caesar salad with crackers, sun butter and jelly sandwich with string cheese, premium steak cheeseburger, carrots, pears, and milk. Uh, no school tomorrow because it's Veterans Day. Uh, Make sure to think about it, man. Your books are on sale now. Buy yours so you have guaranteed end-of-year delivery. Uh, today's bingo word for all the teachers out there is uh, turkey. One. Uh, hello, students, and welcome back to Sonoran Daily. I'm your host, Josh Doyle, and I'm here with uh, Kyla and Brianna. Uh, in one word, how would you describe the field trip to Shadow Ridge? Good. Good. Kyla, how about you? It was, it was pretty fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what did the field trip teach you about uh, high school? Were your expectations met, or were they different? Different. Uh, how so? I don't know, there's just a lot. Like, a lot of kids. A lot. So it was more than you expected? Yeah. Okay, how about you? Um, it's different. Because there's different types of electives. Mm -hmm. So more options? Yeah. Do you think this is good? Or do you, should we restart? Uh, do, you, do you think this is a good change or, like, bad change? It's a good change. Yeah, good. How so? It's just funner. More fun, more fun, sorry. It's more fun? Yeah. Uh, so you would say generally having more options is better? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what was your opinion on the teachers, uh, faculty? Boring. They were, they were boring. They were boring? Compared to like these ones, yeah, they were too. Mm. So you prefer Sonoran Heights faculty? Yeah, for sure. Over you. Yeah. Okay, you agree? Uh, that's it. Uh, we're your hosts, Josh. And Alessandra's over there. Uh, there's always cool stuff. Hello, students, and welcome back to Sonoran Heights Semi Official News Outlet. I'm your host, Alessandra Santos, and I'm here with Marie and Cohen. Today, I'm going to ask them questions about their field trip. So, how has this field trip to Shower Ridge changed your opinion of where you want to go to high school? Um, no. No? It's a uh, good high school. They're engineering. It's not much fun. Um, what was the most interesting part about this field trip? Uh, the business marketing. Just, I mean, like going around seeing like the new classes, looking at new classes. What were some different classes that they don't have here at Sonoran Heights that they had over there? Engineering. Um, I honestly didn't know. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to it. <laughs> Sorry. Engineering. Are you planning on going to Shadow Ridge instead of like Bazaar in yes. the future? Yes. That's all the time we have for today. Remember to stay hydrated. Hello, students, and welcome back to Sonoran Daily. I'm your host, Josh Joel, and I'm here with uh, Callie and Jay. Uh, how would you describe uh, your field trip to uh, Shadow Ridge today? Um, it went well. They like told us what we were going to be doing next year and like all the classes and stuff. Mm. Uh, what about you? Uh, it, it went well. Um, like I said, we showed us classes. Um, got to meet some of our teachers. Oh, what were your opinion on the teachers there? Uh, they were nice. I actually liked them so much. Uh, do you prefer them over the teachers here? Uh, what about you? Um, they seem really nice. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't like personally talk to any of them, so I wouldn't say if I preferred them here or there. Uh, were your expectations met or like not met when you were here? Like, what were you expecting and was that correct or not correct? Um, that was pretty much what I was expecting, just like going into classrooms and meeting new teachers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Elective-wise, are you like excited? Where are the electives? Like, what's going on there? I'm excited. I like the electives that they have. I like that they like include band and dance as PE. Um, yeah. What about you? Yeah, they had some pretty cool ones, like graphic design. I thought was cool. Okay, well, I'm your host, Josh Doyle. Uh, remember to stay hydrated. Uh, thank you so much to our interviewees. Hello, my name is Alessandra Santos, and I am here with Aiden and Adam. I have a few questions to ask you about the field trip you went on. 
So after this field trip, do you feel you are prepared for high school like more? Yes, now I get to decide where exactly I'm gonna go. Same, I feel like me going to the high school that I'm planning on going to gives me a better opportunity to know where I'm going because I get lost in the school very often. How many like different electives did they have and what was your favorite out of all of them? Um, they had like, I'm pretty sure 20, 20 electives and my favorite one out of all of them was a business, it was a business one. True. Pretty cool. Same, uh, I'd say my were the robotics and uh, the business one. Um, what was the most interesting part of this whole field trip, like the whole experience? The most interesting part is that they had an entire show. They had dance, they had music, they, had, they, had, they even had theater. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Same, but I thought the theater was kind of cringy. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, that's all we yeah. have for today, folks. Remember to stay hydrated. Hello, students, and welcome back to Sonoran Daily. I'm your host, Josh Joel, and I'm here with Kona and Liz. Uh, how would you describe your first reactions when you walked into the high school? Really big. The, the school is really big. Mm -hmm. It had like a lot of gyms too. Like a lot. Oh, what about you? I thought it was cool. It's like roaming around and everything. You could, there's a bunch of things you could do. Mm -hmm. uh, I see you have a lanyard on. I do. The Shadow Ridge uh, yes. thing on it. I won it. Some lady threw it at me. Um, Cause she asked me how many high school credits we have to get to pass, and I said twenty, and then she's like close, and then I said twenty-two, then I got it right, and so I got this lanyard. Oh wow! Uh, are you jealous of said lanyard? Oh no, I'm not jealous at all. He I got, got a water bottle. Oh, he got all those. I see. I see. Yeah. Um, how would you describe your feelings surrounding the faculty at the faculty? They seem nice. Hopefully, nicer than previous teacher, faculty, not Miss Gossard. Not Miss Gossard. <laughs> I'm okay. talking about her. Right. They seem nice, pretty too. Mm -hmm. A lot uh, more freedom. Yeah, facts. Freedom. So, uh, what is what are you most excited for going into high school next year? Freedom. Freedom? Freedom. Yeah, I'd say freedom. Uh, so you feel this school isn't free enough? No. Definitely mm, not. Not really. Okay. Uh, well, I'm Josh Doyle, this is Liz and Kona. Uh, yeah. Have a wonderful day, students, and stay hydrated. Hello, students. I'm your host, Alessandra Santos, and I'm here with Mrs. Stevens. I have a few questions for okay. you about the field trip. All right. So what opportunities were available at this high school? So at Shadow Ridge, the field trip was a great opportunity to show students what CTE fine art opportunities they have because as students, um, when you go to high school, you have to graduate with one CTE or fine art credit. So it was a great opportunity to see all those programs. Okay, and what do you think students should do to prepare for high school? Um, I feel like students should start in eighth grade preparing for high school by learning how to organize um, better so that when they get to high school, they'll be more organized and they'll be ready. Because in high school, honestly, you can't fail the class. You have to pass, um, you have to pass. Um, what class would you take if you went to Shadow Ridge next year? Okay, so what class I would take would probably, well, I've always been interested in art, so however, I probably would take graphic design because I really like um, computerized art. And lastly, what advice do you have for all of your eighth graders? My advice for all my eighth graders is to really think about the programs that we've seen and really think about what they want to schedule for next year because once you've scheduled it, you can't go back. So really think about and really consider it. Thank you, Mrs. Stevens. Have a wonderful day. Uh, more information go to the Future Freshman Night next week, Tuesday at 6 uh, to 7 30 p.m. Hope you have a wonderful day, students, and remember to stay hydrated.